welcome. My name is Ethan Hamlet Strong, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use approvals in Microsoft Power Automate in combination with Documents Core Pack. This video serves as a visual guide to an article that we offer on our website. So if you'd like to check out that article and our website itself, please make sure to check out the video description down below. Now then, with that said, let's get started. So here we are in Microsoft Power Automate. Why are we here? Well, because we want to create a particular flow that can allow us to send a quote to a customer. But it doesn't do just that. In this case, we want to create a particular flow that uses an approval. Now, why do we want to use approvals? Basically, there are some cases where we might want to make sure we get a in this case, a quote approved by maybe an upper manager, just to make sure that they can give their okay to make sure that this quote can then be sent off to the customer. And this is very important if you are dealing with quotes that are rather expensive. In our example, we have a quote that we want to send to a customer that is over $15,000 for its total amount. And when it comes to sending quotes of that, of that, uh, that expensive, it's good that we make sure we get this approved by somebody. And so we're going to be constructing a flow that basically does that. After a quote is activated, we'll create the email, then we'll get this approved by somebody, and then once it gets approved, that email will then be sent off right to the customer. And of course, if the quote is less than 15,000, then we can just send the email as is. <clears throat> So as you can see, we're already here in Power Automate and I've already got a flow started. Uh, this flow is called generate and send quote and check if it's over 15,000. Uh, what this will do as it stands so far is when a quote is activated, it will create an email. And then with that created email, we will generate a quote document and add that as an attachment. And then we'll also generate the email content. And that's what we have so far. Of course, the next steps is what we need to work on today. So let's start adding those extra steps. So first we want to add a step here that is a condition. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to make sure you go with a control and then just add a condition here. We just want to add one thing to this condition and that is to check for the total amount of the quote. We want to make sure we can check if it's greater than $15,000. Now, if yes, we want to move on to our approval, but if no, we want to just create a regular email or send the email and send it off to the customer. So, document core pack. Oops, documents core pack. And we're going to just scroll down to the send email action. And we're going to go ahead and give this a nice name. Oops, come on. Send email. Send email. Less than 15K. Okay, now we're going to open that up. And what we're going to add in here is the email that we have already created. And then we want the sender ID to be the owner. And then we want the row ID to be the potential customer of the associated quote, potential customer value. And of course, the table that that potential customer is associated with, so account. Okay. So that's if it's less than 15,000. But if it is greater than 15,000, of course, that is where uh, the crux of this flow lies. <clears throat> so we want to create an approval now. So to create an approval, you can just add an action and then search for approvals. And the action, specific action we're gonna go with is start and wait for an approval. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna select a particular approval type. We're going to go with approve slash reject. Everyone must approve. 
Leave that moment to load. And then we're going to give an appropriate title. Please approve this quote. And then we have to add an email that we want to assign this to. So we're just going to go with email from our system here. Admin email. We're going to take that. Paste that in here. Now, very important <clears throat> is that we also have our advanced options. Uh, what we want to add here is the name and the actual attachment to this approval. And this means that once this gets approved, or if it gets approved, uh, you'll get an email, and that email will have the attached quote. And this is important, of course, because it, it helps if you, make, if you know what exactly you're approving. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to go specifically not to the email content, but to the email attachment. For the file name, it's okay. The attachment, of course, we want to make sure we'll put the attachment of the document content as the this one is the actual PDF that we're sending. The other one is just the content. So I'm going to make sure that's added. And then that should do it for the approval step. Okay. Now, after that, we're going to add a, another condition that checks the approval itself. So the value that we want to add is the outcome. And we're going to go with contains approve. OK. Uh, and so what we're going to say, we're going to call this uh, check if approved. Oops. Approved. OK. And if this is not approved, then we're going to leave it as is. We're going to do nothing. But if it is approved, then we're going to go ahead and send that email. So we're going to go to documents. Oops. Core. Back. And the email we're going to send is basically the same one that we created earlier. Uh, but of course, this time, this is connected to the approval. I'm going to rename this, send email if approved. And then, of course, we're going to add, oops, come on, I'll put myself here as well, email. Uh, here we're going to add the owner. And then for the row ID, we want to, come on, these steps are getting in the way. Oh, whoops, I accidentally added that there. Okay. So here, we're going to add the potential customer associated with this quote, so potential customer value. And then here we want to add the table name, once again being account. Okay. So now I think we got everything checked out with this quote, or with this flow rather. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And once that is saved, we're going to go ahead and check out our record. Okay. So at our record here, uh, this is the quote that we want to test against, uh, just Q001. You will see that the total amount of this quote is $16,000, which is over the 15,000 threshold that we have set for us ourselves in the flow, which means if we've done everything right, uh, if we activate this quote, then that means we should, we should uh, receive an email asking to, uh, asking to approve or reject the quote. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and we're going to click on Activate Quote. And now we're going to go over to our email. And if everything's done well, then we should be seeing an email in this inbox here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and jump cut to when we get that email. Okay, so looks like we got our email. 
if we go ahead and click on it, and I'll push myself out of the way here. If we go ahead and click on it, you'll see that we got this email uh, that is asking us to approve or reject the quote. And of course, attached to this approval is our quote itself. You can see it has the whole quote here, the whole 16,000, along with all of the relevant information attached. Uh, so that's good. That means that part worked. Now we're going to go ahead and approve it. And once it's approved, you uh, should see that we'll get that email sent to our customer. So if we go back to the record itself, and we go to our potential customer that we want to send this to, we'll click on the record, wait for that to load in just a second here. You should see the email pop up on their timeline. And there we go, modified on 1043, which that is the time. Review it myself out of the way here, you will see that we have the email that we just approved, or the quote that we just approved, along with uh, an attachment, the, the PDF that we created earlier. Which means it looks like everything worked out okay. We created that flow, we approved it, uh, we approved the quote, and we got it sent to our customer. It looks like everything worked out just okay. So, with that demonstrated, I hope you all were able to find that helpful. If you did find this helpful, do consider checking out our channel for other videos related to Documents Core Pack. Consider subscribing as well. And of course, don't forget to check the video description down below to a link to the written article that we have on this, along with a link to our website. But that's going to do it for this video today. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, we hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.